Hello everybody, it's Singer Splash back with another video today. Um, a little bit earlier than I expected, I had a few steelbooks come through the post today. Uh, all of these did in fact, um, from various places, um, so I thought I'd do an update. Um, there's only one new UK steelbook, um, which I forgot actually had even been released. Um, it's not out obviously until Monday, so quite happy that I got today Friday. Usually I get them if I get them early, it's Saturday. So, this is the girl with the dragon tattoo. Uh, obviously a remake of the Swedish uh, film uh, from the trilogy by Stig Larsson. Um, stars Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. Um, this is an H&B exclusive. And it has actually dropped in price quite a lot. Uh, from the original pre-order price, I think it was £16, £17. Pound, and uh, it went down to just uh, £13.99. So, um, this... Is a pretty plain steelbook to be honest. Um, it does have a sticker. I'm not using my usual uh, coffee table, I'm using where all, all my Blu rays are at, which are all stacked up, um, just to show this one. Um, so, yeah, there's a, one of those really annoying stickers on the top there. Um, so, I'll just uh, have to peel that back so I can. Seconds. There, so I can get it off. Uh, so. So I'll just show the back of the steelbook. It's a pretty uh, plain. Uh, it isn't. Uh, it isn't plain though, because there is sort of like some. Oh, it's almost like a far away, um, far away uh, house in the background there. Um, and I'll just uh, open it up to show inside um, two Blu-rays. First one with the film. Second one with the extras. Um, th there is some, some artwork in here, but there's not. It's not uh, incredible or anything. Um, pretty bog standard release, but uh, you know I've never seen any of the uh, original films. Um, I figured I'd just wait for the uh, you know remakes, then I'd be able to make more sense of it not being not being uh, Swedish or anything. So we'll see how that goes, but I I'm looking forward to uh, checking it out tonight. So there's the. Uh, update for the UK and now I have some uh, German imports um, ha happy with some of these not so happy with others uh, that's down to Amazon and their packaging which is usually pretty good um, the first one here is Sin City uh, just, this is a brand new release I think this is actually out on Monday as well uh, in Germany um, and uh, has Jessica Alba on the cover it's the uh, two, dis two disc Blu-ray set with the original cut and also the recut version uh, the sticker does come off, I just haven't got around to taking it off yet. Um, the back's pretty, pretty plain. Hopefully you can see this. I've got the light on, but sometimes it can still be a bit dark. Uh, I'm just going to open this up. And inside, the two Blu-rays, uh, which were actually the way around, but I put the recut one at the front, because that's the one that I'm going to be watching. Um, just like the Kill Bill set, which came, came from the same people, uh, Miramax. Studio Canal, um, it does come with an extra, uh, not art cards in this case, it's just a, a mini poster. I'd, I'd open it up, but it's basically just the front cover um, of the Blu ray. Again, the artwork is black and white and not really a lot to it, but you would expect that from this film at least, uh, compared to Go with the Dragon Tattoo. So, there you go, Sin City. Uh, now these these ones that I'm going to show you uh, came with Sin City uh, from Amazon, and these were. Uh, it was £44, including postage for all four. So it works out about £11 each, but to be honest, since it was quite a bit more than the rest, the others were about, about €10 Euros each. Um, and then the shipping was €7. Euros. Uh, but here's Scream 4. Um, it's in pretty good condition. There is the odd paint, paint ship, like one or two, but it's very hard to see. Um, except I've just noticed actually a massive one there. You can see that there? Holy crap. I didn't uh, didn't notice that before. That's pretty bad, actually. Oh, this is getting worse, isn't it? So yeah, there's a uh, oh, shit inside. There is some artwork. Um, again, black and white. Don't know what it is with all the black and white these days. Um, but yeah, Scream Four. Not seen it yet. I've seen the first three, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's quite annoying that really bad uh, really bad paint chip that shit 
and that isn't the only one because we now have the um, infestation which came and does have a bit of a ding at the top there you can see um, and it looked like it was resealed because some of, some of the uh, there's the odd paint chip on the back but this is just a cheap horror release um, there's no real artwork on the inside so I won't bother showing it it's just red with infestation written on it um, apparently it's dein guten Käfer we'll see um, and the next one is the Runaways. This is a, again another cheap one uh, from uh, from Amazon. But as you can probably guess, actually, you can probably tell there, there is quite a bad ding at the front. So everything except the Sin City came with a ding or a chip. So I shall have to be contacting Amazon and getting a, a considerable discount, very considerable discount for that. Um, Again, this is this is from the same company that released Infestation, so inside it's just red with uh, the Runaways written. But uh, I quite like the colour. Um, but I'll check it out, as I say, it was a cheap 10 euro film on Steelbook, but I'm not too happy with, with the content, you know, uh, with the packaging. Very bad. Um, now the next two, these were uh, imports again from Germany, but uh, through Groove's Inc. We have uh, Stallone Judge Dredd. Um, the sticker does come off again, but I haven't taken it off yet. Um, this is in good condition. Can't remember if it's got inside out work or not. Yeah, it does. In black and white. It's a black and white day today. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool artwork. Actually, just a discount. Quite good there. I like to tread. It's one of those films that uh, is sort of a guilty pleasure. And the last one, which I forgot to pick up is on the shelf and that is Watchmen. This one actually came yesterday. It's posted out the same day as, as Judge Dredd. Um, and these two by the way, Judge, Judge Dredd was £12 and uh, Watchmen was £13 but it is just uh, a single Blu-ray, no artwork inside, just a single Blu-ray, the same Blu-ray as the UK uh, original release. So I'm, um, I'm thinking about I might put my director's cut Blu-ray um, in the still, but I don't know. It's still got the uh, still got the where is it the direct cut uh, version, UK version. So, which I was going to sell, but now I'm not because I want to keep the uh, I want to have the direct cut. But I just like the steel box, so it's uh, pretty cool. So there you go. So just a quick update there. As I said, I wasn't going to do this until next week when I got Lifeboat and uh, I think the DVD still coming out as well, um, but I forgot about the HMB exclusives, you see, because player have had that many, I forgot h and have them as well, um, but I pre-ordered them also. Uh, yeah, so there's the girl with the dragon tattoo, and um, I will also uh, have one next week for the, the other ones that are coming out, I think um, either Warhorse or uh, Sherlock Holmes is out next week, might be Sherlock Holmes actually, um, and I think there's a play exclusive for uh, Mission Impossible might be out next week as well, which is already out of print. Surprise, surprise. So, anyway, there's a quick video with my latest steelbooks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Although Amazon will be getting stern words about some of the state of them. Uh, so, again, thanks very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you all again soon. Sayonara.